What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is Jose Ortiz from PetRockMedia.com, and today we have a few unboxings. First off, a cheap charger. This might give it away. This is a cheap charger from Amazon. You can see right there what it's for. It says right there, it's an AC adapter for a Nintendo 3DS, because today we're unboxing the Amazon-exclusive new Nintendo 3DS XL Super Nintendo skinned from Amazon.com. The reason why I got the charger is because, of course, since it is a new 3DS XL, for some reason Nintendo decided not to include the charger. I guess they assume that since you're going to be upgrading, you'll already have a charger, but still, that's kind of annoying. But, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. I'll need my trusty Batman knife. Now, previously, I'm coming from the Nintendo version uh, 3DS XL. Not the new one, so if you can see right there, it's missing the additional thing right here. The little joystick. Uh, this was a great system, though. This is what I had been using for the past couple years. I got it from GameStop. So I'm really excited to see what this one looks like. It just kind of slides out. Now this does come with a download card or a download code for Super Mario Kart. You can see right there. Uh, exclusively from, like I said, since this is from Amazon, they included a download card for that game. Here's the AR cards. Anybody use those? I personally don't use them. There it is. Now, first differences that I see is that with this particular system, the paint job feels more like a paint job. It kind of looks and feels more like custom painted. This has a almost a 3D, no pun intended, kind of view to it. It's kind of got almost like like anime, I guess, if you will. It's got a drawing on it. It is the new 3DS, so you see there's the additional... Joy-Con, you can see my camera. Uh, first thing first, I could tell is that the hinge on this thing has definitely been improved. Uh, coming from this older one. Hear the clicking. This one doesn't really click. It just kind of has like a muted. Versus this one. Uh, screens, almost identical. You can see the camera on this one is a little bit different from this one. This one has the dual camera. Two cameras on the back. This one has two cameras on the back also. Uh, other than that, everything, um, um, of course, the games. The games do go on the bottom, whereas this one, the games go on the top. Uh, but overall, everything else looks pretty similar. I'm really digging it. I think the Super Nintendo was probably one of my most favorite systems from Nintendo, other than the 3DSs or the DSs. Um, if you open it completely flat... You can kind of tell it looks like a Super Nintendo. If you kind of do the same thing with the Nintendo one, it's just kind of the controller itself. So it's not really mirrored as the system. It's more like the controller. Whereas this one is kind of touted as a Super Nintendo actual system, the way it's... Get that to focus. So first impressions, I really, really dig this thing. I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff transferred over from this to the new system. And like I mentioned, I also got a charger for it. So let's go ahead and unbox this real quick. And there you go. And there's the charger. Now I know they sell USB uh, ports, USB cords to this, if I'm not mistaken. So I might pick that up because having this brick I'm probably going to be able to, or I'm probably going to use this as a dock, uh, which requires one of these. So if I have one of those docks, you can just kind of stick it on there and have it charging at all times and then portably. I already have a cigarette lighter, but just in case I don't have my cigarette lighter and I'm trying to use a, uh, a portable battery, then I'll probably pick me up one of those USB ports or those USB cords. I'm sorry. You can kind of see my game collection. This is a really old case I actually picked up at a Goodwill. Super Mario World. And here are my games. 
I'll do a what's in my bag or what's in my collection of video games for 3DS and DS. Have some old DS games. Uh, of course, with all the controversy, there's Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron. But once again, guys, this is an unboxing and kind of first impressions of the Amazon exclusive Super Nintendo. I'll put links down below if you're wishing to purchase this. Overall first impressions, I really like the paint. Probably going to be getting me a clear case like I have for this one, just so I don't scuff it all up. I know a lot of people don't really care for these clear cases. I don't really mind the issues that people complain about. I really don't take it on and off, so it really doesn't scratch the paint. I know people have been like, well, when you put one on and you take it off, it scratches. I won't be taking it off. I leave it on. Even though I have it in a case, I still want to protect my investments. So once again, guys, this is Jose Ortiz from Pet Rock Media. Let me know down below what you think of the system. Did you pick one up this Black Friday? I know they were released just this week. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Jose Ortiz from Pet Rock Media signing out. Peace.